Well, after two and a half weeks of intense competition, we have arrived at the final gold medal to be decided at the 2012 World Lawn Bowls Championships at Lockleys here in Adelaide. It is the men's singles final, the last gold medal up for grabs. Australia has won four, Scotland sits second with three, New Zealand is third with three silver, but Canada has the opportunity to leapfrog to third with a gold medal in this men's singles final. Ryan Bester will take on the Aussie Leif Selby. Selby is ranked number two in the world and has already won silver here at the World Championships in the pairs. At the last Commonwealth Games he won silver and that same year was crowned the World Cup singles champion. He's had great success in the Asia Pacific Championships also. Well Leif, congratulations on reaching the final. Despite your wealth of experience, is there still a sense of anticipation before a big final? Oh, most definitely. Uh, you always got to worry about what's going to happen. Uh, how am I going to play well or, or how's the crowd going to respond and stuff like that. But um, look, I'm really looking forward to this. Potentially my last game, um, I'm really going to enjoy it. Ryan Best, a very quick player. Does it change the way you play when your opponent is so quick on the mat after you? Not really, not in a singles match. It's all about your own mindset. Uh, just concentrate on what you can do, don't worry about your opponent. But um, I'll go out there and just do my normal thing and uh, he can worry about himself. What do you think the key is for you today? Just be patient, I think. Uh, I think the game will be quite quick. Look, the breeze is up again. It's quite blustery and, and blowing a bit, but um, just to be patient. Uh, and hopefully I can, I can do that good enough. Canada's Ryan Bester won the singles bronze at the last World Championship, the same year he partnered with Gary Lawson to win gold at the Australian Open. The 28-year-old won bronze at the Melbourne Commonwealth Games prior to his gold at the 2004 World Championships in the pairs when he was just 20 years of age. Well, Ryan, the time has finally come. The wait is over. How are the nerves? Yeah, um, no nerves now, but maybe the first couple of ends, let's hopefully get through them. And then once you settle in, it's just another game of balls. Well, one of the constants in these championships has been this strong wind. Uh, how do you think you'll cope with that? Oh, you know, no one can cope with the wind. You just have to try to, you know, get your balls as close as possible. And if they get closer, you might have to drive a bit more. But I've played a lot in New Zealand where it's windy all the time, so hopefully draw on that experience. Well, both yourself and Leif undefeated so far in these championships. You know you've got a tough opponent. Yeah, they both won the group and undefeated, so it's kind of a perfect final, you yeah, know, playing in Australia against the Australians, so looking forward to it. Well, joining me in commentary for this men's singles final, Kelvin Kirkow and Kelvin, both bowlers undefeated at the World Championships so far. They're in terrific form, but Leif Selby, he's the only Aussie so far not to have won gold. Yeah, unbelievable performance with the uh, the World Championships. The Australian team's done so well. Now, Leif Selby, can he bring home gold and, and grab a gold for himself? Well, how hard will Brian Best to be to beat? Ryan Bester undefeated through the tournament as well. So we've got two guys playing the men's singles final that haven't lost a game for the tournament. Lockley's Bowling Club in Adelaide, the venue, men's singles final. What a match it promises to be. Two undefeated bowlers at these championships. Australia's Leif Selby, the only member of the Australian team yet to win a gold medal, up against Ryan Bester of Canada. Bester with the mat, getting us underway. This is the first bowl of Leif Selby. has had a few matches on this TV green. Just the second one for Ryan Bester, who, as we found out in his semi-final win over Jerry Baker, does not muck around when he gets to the mat. He has the purple bowls, the green and gold. A Leif Selby. line. Yeah, it's a good bowl there from Leif Selby. As you're saying, Mark, Leif's got everything to play for here. He's the only member of the Australian team that hasn't got a gold medal around his neck at this year's World Championship. So we'll be keen. Nice reply there from the Canadian. Down, 
Hey, Selby. Oh. Can you get a little glide off his front bowl? Maybe turn it a roll? Well, that's definitely the shot. At least one. Daryl Rowley from Kangaroo Flat in Victoria, our marker. Ryan Bester. He's at the Broadbeach Bowls Club on the Gold Coast. Started his bowls in Canada. He's a very fast player. He doesn't muck around. He gets on the mat very quick. This is just dying on its run a fraction. Good start here for Leif Selby. He's got one more bowl and he holds shot. One to Australia. Lee Selby will play the last bowl of his first end of this gold medal playoff game. Can he make it two? It's not a bad track. It's all on his weight now. And then he got to stop. Oh, he got a kiss and he's pushed it closer to Ryan Bester's. And I think the Canadian now has shot. What a horrible start there for Leif Selby. It will be one to Canada. He was holding shot, too much weight. And the Canadian gets the early advantage. Leads one nil. Well, Leif Selby, unlucky. Have a look at this, he's drawn a toucher. Unfortunately, it's gone a little bit sideways to Ryan Bester's bowl. It's not the start he wanted. Very unlucky. He's got to put that behind him. Fairly good opening bowl from Ryan Bester. It's Jack High. And it's a good reply from the Australian Leif Selby. That'll give him some confidence after his previous bowl. A little touch of the jack. As you can see, Ryan Bester very quickly jumps on the mat. Well, he's turned that bowl in onto the jack. Still fancy the Aussie, though. They saw me just going behind. Ryan Best is one of the most attacking players in the game. He's got a very fast drive on him. He's not short very often. He's always given his bowls a chance. He's just trying to draw it. Leif Selby holding shot here. Has he got the running? Well, that's a mighty effort. It's got to be close for two. Yeah, certainly very close. Well, it'll be interesting to see what Ryan Bester does here. Could this be the first drive of the match? The yeah. odds are in favour of that, aren't they? Well, we're about to find out. He's just no. going to play up. With a little bit of weight, try and turn his own bowl. Very surprisingly, I thought Ryan might have had a go. But listen, if he can turn his own bowl, one roll. 
And that's what he's going to be doing. Oh, outstanding stuff from Ryan Bester. He gets back there, picks up the bowl, up to the mat, and lets it go, and comes up with a shot like that. Great bowl. Ryan Bester, perfect weight, turning the bowl once. Onto the jack. Now it's one to Canada. How does Leif Selby respond here? Well, he's got two seconds. If he can sit the shot bowl through, he could lay three. So he's playing weights. Leif Selby of Australia. Any contact with his own green bowls, he could get the shot bowl clean. That's a brilliant bowl from Leif Selby. That'll be two for Australia. Ryan Bester salutes his opponent. And Leif Selby overcomes the disappointment of handing a shot away on the first end to come back and pick up two to lead 2-1 two -one after two ends. And that was a terrific end of bowls. Perfect shot, Leif Selby. Never looked like missing it all the way. Australia's on the board. Long end here from Leif. Yes, of Turned away straight away. Maximum length. Obviously, these are tactics that Leif has thought about going into this match. He knows Ryan Best is one of the best drivers in the world. And obviously, the further the jack away is, greater chances are of missing. So, if he can put pressure on Ryan, and Ryan's one of those players that he hits everything, he normally wins, but. <laughs> When you start being aggressive, sometimes it can backfire. It could be a downfall. It looks a little wide. Might even lose his bowl here. The green running quite fast in this direction. They've got a big tailwind behind the backs of both these players. Stiff breeze. <coughs> Ryan Bester, not quite getting there. Good metre short. It's one to Australia. Well, Leif's chasing. It's always normally a good sign. He's corrected well. Well played. It's handy. Another counter. Straight away, Ryan, straight on the mat mark. Not mucking around at all. The old adage, isn't it? Quick game's a good game. It's not coming back from out there. Two shots here to Leif Selby. Well, real opportunity here for the Australian player, Leif Selby. And leads 2-1 and holds two. If he could make it three, it'd be a terrific start for him. It's all on his weight now. It's going to be good enough. He's only got to run a little bit more. Well, that's going to be a counter. There's a bit of room. Three to Selby, but plenty of room here for the Canadian. He knows three could disappear very quickly here, Leif. Yes. Ryan Bester, that doesn't look very good at all. It looked very narrow out of the hand. And that's going to run right away. So there's a bonus for the Australian. He'll pick up three shots on the third end. And 
I'm just checking. It is three. Three, three boys. Three. Yep, three to Leif Selby. Pick up for Leif Selby. And after three, three ends, it is Leif Selby leading 5-1. Life so we bringing the mat up just a couple of metres. Jack's probably finished about a metre from the two metre mark. It'll be a good three quarter length. It's not a bad start. Very handy in these conditions. Green running close to 16 seconds. It's running quite fast. Best on, just struggling on the draw. You hear the wind blowing in the background. Nice Selby played this well. It's a great shot. Well played, Lace Selby of Australia. Well, could we have another again. drive? He is. Well, we have. He's planted it down the green when he's got the hole. <laughs> you wouldn't think that was possible. It Had was to be 50 mile an hour, that. It was almost a bouncer out of his hand. Yes, it didn't come out clean. <laughs> it's an interesting mindset he has, isn't it? I mean, he's only had the one bowl, and it's not as if... Life is all over the jack. And again. Yep, here we go. Well, he's after the jack. Well, he's, missed. he's missed it. Wow, Ryan Bester. Very attacking. It's only early in the match. Life gets another one up there. Well, he's got plenty of room. He's got at least a good metre, maybe more. Will he try and block here? He's going to draw another one, so it's going to be another counter. It looks like four to Australia. He's gone back on the draw, Ryan Bester. I think that's his best option. I think that's what he's going to have to do. Well, he doesn't like it. It looks a bit wide. It might run a bit further than he wants as well. He concedes four as soon as he gets down there. And so it has been a two, a three, and a four to Leif Selby after he cost himself two shots on the first end. It's a very, very handy lead here for the Aussie, 9-1. It could conceivably, conceivably have been 11 zip, but 9-1 in a final and a race to 21 is an extraordinary head start to give an opponent. Yeah, it's quite incredible. I really believe that uh, if Ryan Best is going to get back into this game, he's, he's got to get back to his draw game. He's got to build the head, get some bowls close. Because Leif Selby, he's going to outdraw him all day long. Hurry. He already leads 9-1. You can't afford to miss if you start driving, and you'll pay the penalty. It's almost a, an instant replay of his start against Jerry Baker, isn't it? The first four ends, it was like his mind was elsewhere. Then when he settled down, it was a different bowler. No, quite amazing. It was very similar. I mean, basically the same sort of start. As you were saying, Mark, he was very aggressive. He got behind in that match. And when he did settle down, you see Leif Selby almost drawing the shot. When Ryan did settle down and go back to the draw game, well, that's got what got him back into the game, and he he stormed home in that match against Jerry Baker. How hard is it for his opponent, in this case, Leif Selby, obviously, who is a quality player, to not be distracted by that sort of all-over-the-shop tactics from your opponent? Well, he's just got to keep put that to the side, just play his own normal game. 
Certainly 9-1 up is a great start. It's going to give Ryan no confidence at all. But on the other hand, Leif should take Hurry. that confidence and, and grow with it. Push. Well, he's trying here. Leif Selby. Very close to drawing the shot. Could be. Save you, mate. The marker favouring Ryan Bester's bowl. So Leif Silby's bowl just fell out. And Ryan's changed to his forehand. And it looks narrow. He hasn't had a great deal of success on the forehand from this end. Oh, he had great weight, but as you can see, he's, he's probably a good five to six feet narrow. Nice Selby from the Rurilla Club. New South Wales, near Wollongong. He was a silver medalist at the Commonwealth Games in Delhi. So we'd love to take home a world championship, world title. Sweet. Is he going to turn? No, he's not. It was a good effort. Needs to draw another one here. One's fine, but he's still seven behind. Already he can't afford to let Leif get any more than seven in front. He still win a couple of ends back to back. He's a quality player. Well, he had good weight with his third bowl on this end. He's definitely taken a bit more grass on this, on this one. Well, he's a big chance if he keeps running. It's going to be close. It fell in. I think that'll be two. Yeah, you can do it. So the one or two here for Ryan Bester of Canada. She said plays out of the Broad Beach Bowls Club now, the venue the uh, bowls in the Commonwealth Games when they come to the Gold Coast. Still a few years away. Yes, and that should be a great venue. Still favourite Ryan's bowl. Your favourite? Yep. Oh. Two. How big, two? Two. Two it'll be. So two to Ryan best up. Let's head down to Andrew Holmes. Yeah, thanks, Mark. I'm here with Robbie Dobbins, and uh, as we've spoken about, these two players are two of the best in the world. That's a great uh, response by Ryan, given that uh, he was eight shots down. Absolutely. You know, they're two superstars. You know, this, is, this is a game of two superstars, and it'll come down to an arm wrestle. And it what should, a, be a great, should be a great game. Absolutely. What about uh, Leif? He's gone through this championship undefeated. Is that, well, uh, you know, both players have, but is that sort of something that he, 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 he thrives on? Well, you know, I think it's sort of the, the both of them's gone in, in with a lot of confidence, you know, and, and I think sort of both of them sort of are good enough to win it. It sort of just depends on sort of who gets it, so that ounce of luck and uh, who plays a big ball at the right time. I've seen it all day out here. The conditions now are really tricky with that wind blowing around, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think, you know, people will sit uh, home at their televisions and, and maybe watch these games and say, well, you know, I can play as good as these guys, but you've got to, you've got to understand that the conditions are very difficult. And it is difficult to play two bowls the same with the wind conditions that I've got. So, so it's going to be a sort of mental game. And uh, w both probably players that will need an ounce of luck to win it. Thanks, Robbie. You're welcome. Uh, you hear it from the assistant coach of the Australian team, Robbie Dobbins, saying how difficult it is. So the bowls doesn't indicate the quality it's very tricky. Wind gusting around at times. Run. Run. 
Dave Selby urging his bowl on, wanting it to run. Hurry! Well, almost getting there. Bester not mucking around again. It looks pretty good here. Looks very, very good. It makes you wonder at times why he even bothers to play the running shot when he can draw the ball or the bowl that well. Oh, well, he's uh, like I said, he's a very, very aggressive player. And now we've got Leif Selby playing weight. Well, he's got one of Ryan's bowls. It'll be one to Canada. And yes, Ryan Bester, he can certainly draw well. I do sometimes wonder. Sort of lets the cat out of the bag, I think. I don't know what he does, but he gets very aggressive. Well, if he loses this final, it'll be down to those three ends, won't it? Sure will. But I'm sure Ryan realises that he's got to go back to his draw game. You can't get shots if you don't draw them close to the jack. And as you can see, he's played another good shot here. That'll be two. It just shows you he's got a good draw game on him. I don't know that Leif can get to that second shot. I think you'll see Leif Selby playing weight again for the bowl or jack. He'd like to get the jack in the ditch, and I think that'd be the perfect result. Get it off the shot bowl also. Well, he's watching. He needs oh. a bit of luck. He's not going to get it. He hit the front bowl. It is two shots to Canada. And Ryan Bester is edging his way back. He's won consecutive ends. And all of a sudden, it's just for the difference. 9-5 to Leif Selby. Welcome back to the 2012 World Championships as Canada's Ryan Bester and Australia's Leif Selby battle it out for gold. This is the start of the seventh end. If you can put pressure on Leif Selby with his first bowl, what he's got to do, he's just been a bit loose with his opening bowl so far in this match. Terrific start from Life Selby again. Ryan Best, he's, he's taken the mat up a good four or five metres on this end. Well, he's trying hard, just going to climb around the bowl. Selby, anything just behind will be good here. Two opening bowls from Ryan Bester are about a good metre behind. It's pretty handy. Ryan Bester is on his way. How's he travelling here? Too bad. A good second shot. Well, Leif Selby's watching it very closely, this bowl. Can get back to the jack. Little touch would be perfect. Not quite. Let's just run on. Mark is suggesting one to Leif Selby. Ryan Bester's had a look himself. I wonder whether he believes that. Something you don't see too often, a little bit of indecision from the Canadian. Normally he just, well, just marches makes a decision. on back. Yeah. Realises this is a, 
A big game. He's playing for a gold medal. Become world champion. I think he just needs to slow down a bit. It's always good. Let's see if he's going to have another go. Could be another drive on the cards here. There is. Here it is. And he's got the jack. Did it stay in play? Well, I think yeah. the jack has. It stayed in. Only just. Well, it's only just into your left of screen. That pole is the out of bounds. It may be a couple of centimetres in. And who has shot here? Well, I think the back green bowl of Life Selby's would be the shot. He's still got a bowl to play. One in the ditch is in play. That would be the toucher. The toucher. Well, how yeah, would that be? Would that be close? Just can't see from this angle. There's no indication from the marker. Plenty of room, though, to end the discussion if Lave can put it close to the ditch. There's oodles of room. And that will be the shot. No question there. The question will be whether or not Purple Bowl in the ditch. Purple Bowl in the ditch. And even the Purple Bowl, that one there. The, the green versus the two. The bowler's philosophy is simple. Service never be So there's one already to life. To inject service into every aspect of their business. Every we discussed earlier in the championship, it seems like an eternity ago, it has been 16 days of competition. But when a, you're measuring in the ditch and you have to go over the little rise, sometimes... That's blind. Yes, it can make a difference. Very quick. The actual string goes over the edge. You can lose an inch or two. That's blind. You've got to be brave and just... Let it dribble out into the wind. Because if you just push it, I wonder if I thought I'd just keep on trying to pass it on as a drink. That'll do And he's won to the Australian, the toucher in the ditch. It was worth a shot for Ryan Bester. So 10 5 is the score, and that will stop that run of the Canadian, Maeve Selby. Did well to draw to the ditch there. He was back to his aggressive self there, the Canadian. <coughs> yes, Ryan Bester was very unlucky. He didn't sit along a bit closer to it. He got a fair bit of the jack. But nearly went out of play too. Yes, it was only a matter of inches from been a dead end. But it was Leif Selby who drew the shot with his last. Long end here from Leif. It's turning nicely though. Nice opening bowl from the Australian as we head downstairs again to Andrew Holmes. Thanks Mark. David Mathie joins us and uh, what are your early indications of this game? Oh, uh, Leif's finding the green. You know, he's, he's finding the jack pretty pretty well at every end. So uh, we're chasing him right now, but uh, Ryan's catching up now. So we're, we're going to start. We're going to start to be in this game. The, the start by Leif was uh, was scintillating, and Ryan sort of probably got caught a little bit unawares by the start. But he's just edged his way back end by end. Yeah, yeah, he'll keep going now. He, he, he's fine now. He's he's found the green, so he'll be all right. And uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Put the drive in his back pocket and uh, start drawing the, drawing the jack, we'll be okay. Time difference between the semi finals of both of them. Leif um, obviously played the same day as today's final, but uh, um, Ryan had a bit of a longer time off. What did you do during that time? Oh, we just relaxed, we just kicked back today. We watched the, fi the, the semi final this morning on television at the hotel, and then, then Ryan has his usual nap in the afternoon, then we come up here to get at it. You know, so. you're, you're very relaxed? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, this is great stuff. Let's see. Uh, you're going to see a good match here. All the best. Cheers. Oh, there's a sigh of relief from Leif Selby, I think. I don't think he'd like this particular bowl. And that's the reason why he had good weight. He was just a bit narrow. So it's one to Canada. Oh, and Besta. Trying to make a fight back of this game. 
trails 5-10. I think he's going to get there with this one. Well, it's not going to make it difficult for Leif Selby. Bowl sort of finishing short and just blocking it a little bit. He's got one bowl left on this end, Selby. Well, he's just drawing, I think. He didn't like it. I think he got a big gust of wind when he let it go. And that's exactly what's happened. You can see that bowl swooping across the rink. Big gust to the right to the left of screen. The wind. His head, mate, I can't tell you, sorry. Just stepping away because of this strong wind in Adelaide that's been here. For almost a week now, it seems. We've had one calm day in the last seven or so. Can he draw another shot here? Yeah, it's just getting close, but just drifting on and will be one for the Canadian. One for Canada. And so it is now 10-6 to the Australian Leif Selby. After eight ends of this men's singles final, it is the first to 21. I think it's the, not only the strength of the breeze, Kelvin, but also the fact that it, it's strong and then it gusts to be really strong <laughs> at times. That's it. It comes and goes. Now and then there's not much wind at all. Then you get these really strong gusts that, and that's what really affects the bowl. You know, it's you, you can't do much about it. Once the bowl's left your hand, if you get a 30, 40 knot kilometer hour gust, it's going to affect the bowl in some way. Handy bowl from Leif Selby. Ryan Bester playing his backhand away from the commentary box. In great weight once again, but just couldn't pick the line. That just shows you it's very difficult. Leif <coughs> Selby, well, he's playing the forehand away from the commentary box. It tends to be a little bit more turn than the, than the backhand. <laughs> Frustrating. <laughs> well, Ryan Bester, he's decided to change hands. It's all on his weight. Is he going to stop? Not quite. So he'll be holding one. Well, oh, can beat Ryan Bester's last bowl. He'll count. That's exactly what he's played. That will be two to Australia. The Ken Ryan Bester draw the shot here. Trail 6-10. Nice line. Giving it a go. Needs the right sit. And a little touch on that bowl of Leif Selby's. Don't know whether it's enough though. Yeah, it's close. Sure. I think it might be the Canadians. Yes, it looks dead, I Jack know. High. I think the marker suggests one, two, Bester. So what does Leif do here, Kelvin? Well, he's played pretty good bowl with his previous bowl. 
he'll just try and draw. He may change to the backhand, which he's going to. He can turn his own bowl in or sit on Ryan Bester's last bowl, which is Jack High. Well, he's watching it very closely. Very closely indeed. Leif Selby needs a piece of his own and he's got it. So great shot. Superb bowl from the Australian, world number two, showing why he is undefeated in this championship. I think so. Let's have a quick look for me. Yeah, no clue where they're going right to go. There, Huh? Yeah, no clue where they're going to go. Like, nah. Look at my two up there. Well, then, then, then you got the three here. Mine hung out. The next one, and then he shoots right across. the decision here from the marker if he can find his paddles he'll let us know one to Leif Selby, to Leif Selby of so he leads by five again 11 -6. it is 11-6 to the Australian through nine ends what a bowl that was Kelvin terrific shot Leif Selby right on target and it keeps him pegging away 11-6 in front Good spot to be. Wave Selby, the 2010 Silver Commonwealth Games gold medalist, runner up to Robert Wheel from Wales Run. in that match. So we'd like to go one better. There's a ranking, world ranking of number two. Wasn't Rob Wheel the man you mentioned, the one that you beat in 06 in the final? Correct. I was very uh, pleasure of uh, winning the Commonwealth Games gold medal in 2006 against Robert Wheel. And Robert Wheel went on to Hurry. beat Leif Selby in that final in Delhi and got revenge, I guess, of one of the Australian players. <laughs> Remembering both these players are undefeated, so they have not lost a game out of all their earlier round matches. Leif Selby winning all his 11 matches and Ryan Bester winning nine of his matches in a section that just didn't quite have as many players in. And here you see Leif Selby with a trail of the jack. Terrific ball. Only one, mate. Only one. What will Ryan Bester do here? He's on the backhand. Trying to draw. I don't think he's got the running. Definitely not going to get here. A nice track. He's just going to pull up a good metre short. Oh, if Selby stop. trying to make it number stop. two. He's only got to stop. He's looking very good here, the Australian. And that'll be two. So the pressure builds on the Canadian. Watching Leif Selby, perfect bowl here. You can see how much turns in the bias of the bowl. The green's running quite fast. Now the Canadian.
Canadian, Ryan Bester. I don't think that line is going to get him anywhere near it. Well, he's going to wreck on his own front bowls. Oh, a little slide. Oh, he got fortunate there. Well, oh, wow. I think he's cut one out. He has. It is one to Leif Selby, but he got a bit fortunate there, the Canadian. What's a fortune, isn't it? You need a little bit of luck. 12-6 to Leif Selby. It's still a pretty handy lead to have chasing 21 shots. It was quite cool this afternoon. It's the wind that's keeping temperature cool. It's got a bit of a chill to it, this strong sou'easter in Adelaide. It's been, the weather's been quite all over the place throughout the championships. We had a day approaching 40 in week one. We've had at 14 degrees last weekend or earlier in the week. Seems like a long time ago because so much has happened. Yes, Adelaide dishes up some interesting temperature ranges, or climate you should say. It'll be very hot one day. Freezing the next. A bit like Melbourne to a degree. Yeah, that's normally in the one day, though. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> this first bowl is so important for both players. And Didn't that take off with yeah. the wind? Ryan Bester's. The direction they're playing here, like I said, away from the commentary box has got a big tail breeze. The wind actually blowing directly down the rink, so it is pushing these bowls along. And well played, Leif Selby. And that bowl looked like it was going to be right on the jack, but you can see the flag in the background, the wind coming directly down the rink, right behind the players' backs. And of course, when they come back the other way, they've got a big headwind to deal with. It's two to Australia. Selby, got a wider line here. Needs a bit of breeze this time to bring it back. And probably a counter. Ryan <laughs> Bester had already let it go. It's quite amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the bowl's only just stopped and Ryan Bester's got his on the way. And the end result being a poor bowl. I think he just didn't take his time. Just too fast. You know, the thought is if he could coach Ryan Bester, he could become an even better player. But then it also might hamper him too because he plays the way he plays. If, does that make sense? Yeah, Ryan Bester's always been a very fast player. He just doesn't muck around. He's straight on the mat and away he goes. He like has this don't care attitude. He just sort of steps on the mat and away he goes and he gets the results. I think at times he could just slow his game down a bit. Be more of an advantage. A well, big opportunity here for the Australian player, Leif Selby. He's holding three. He could make this four. And it looks really good. This looks like the closest bowl that he's played for the end. But so four to green. There's a target there for Brun. There's Lindsay Armitage looking on with the Australian team. You'll see Cottrell with a bit of a wave. Yes, the Australian team has had a very, very successful World Championships here in Adelaide. Here we go. Here we go. And it is on target. It cleared the front bowl, but it is still two to the Australian. Maybe three. Just want to roll those other two out. Throughout the tournament, we've been oh. drinking shingle. It was a little bit unfortunate. Lines. He made good contact First, and uh, made such good contact that it missed the jack completely. Yes, he could have easily killed the Enron Bester, but it wasn't to be. He just took the one bowl out. As you see, contact. If he could have hit that onto the jack, he would have killed it, but it wasn't to be. How many shots here? Two or three? There's been two kicked out. It is two. It's only two. To the Aussie, when I say only two, it's a very important two shots. 
for Leif Selby because it is now an eight Further shot for Leif Shelby. lead. Leif Selby, in fact, Australia. 14 and it's six. the biggest equal to the biggest lead he's had in this match. He led nine, one after four ends. Now it's back to 14 6. So all the work that the Canadian has done to claw his way back from 9 1 down to 9 5 and 10 6 has disappeared. I suppose that's one of the you know, the minus is when you play the way that Ryan Vesta does, the game can turn very quickly in both ways. It can do. Such an aggressive player. When he's on target, he hits everything. Hurry. Fortunately, you have days where things just don't go right. That leaves you very vulnerable. Of course, the World Championships being played at the Lockleys Bowling Club in Adelaide. Once every four years. So, you know, when the opportunity comes around to win a world title, you've got to make the most of it. At the moment, it's Leif Selby in the driving seat, 14-6. Very interesting comment from the Aussie in this pre-final interview that potentially it could be his final game, which to me suggests that if he wins today, it could be a great way for him to retire. Yes, I have heard whispers. We'll have to wait and see if that's the case. Whatever the decision is, it should be made in the cool light of day, though, shouldn't it? Not, <laughs> not in the emotion of winning a world title. He's got a long way to go before he does that anyway. Certainly has. How good would it be for Australia? going for their fifth gold medal at the World Championships. And that's unheard of. And that's a terrific bowl from the Australian. Confident shot up into the breeze. Is this bowl gonna get back enough? Not gonna be good enough. I don't think. Two seconds, Ryan Bester. That bowl of Leif Selby's just in front of the shot bowl <coughs> may be in the way to stop one of those drives too from Ryan Bester. Yes, I'm sure if that bowl wasn't there, Ryan would possibly try and... <laughs> possibly? <laughs> would definitely Ryan be having would. a go, I think, with his last. <laughs> it's a little bit protective for Leif Selby, and it's right on the centre line. So it protects his own shot bowl. An opportunity for the Australian player. Hurry. He'd like to make it too. Hurry. Well, he's urging it on. It's only got to bend and run. Hurry. It's very close, beats that and falls. He'll be so close to two. We'll have to wait and see. And he's two according to the marker. There's another bowl behind the jack. Maybe closer than that one we see there of Ryan's, but certainly two shots to the Aussie. Going the backhand here, the Canadian. Oh, he's got an opportunity if he could trail the jack. He could make a three or four possibly. It's not an easy shot, and I think he's going to duck. He's going to crash on the front bowl, the bowl we're talking about. And so pushing another one to maybe get three here for Leif Selby. Well, I think he's done three. a bit of damage. Two. I think he's... No, three. He's conceded the three. And so there is three to Leif Selby. And all of a sudden, after four straight ends, it's an extraordinary lead. 17 to six in this final. Didn't even bother to get that measured. No. Leif Selby, he's got to be feeling confident now. He's he's only four shots away from home and what's been a, a very quick match, really, when you look at it. We've only had 12 ends. Quite incredible. There's been a number of multiples. Leif Selby, a couple of threes. I think the conditions are getting to the Canadian. He's just got that resigned feel about him at the moment. 
Yes, and as we're saying, and there you see it, a run of Leif Selby, a two, a three. 17-6, the lead. But Ryan Bester, his very first bowl has just not been good enough. He's just leaving far too much room for the Australian. Leif Selby, he's got to be... Well, in his wildest dreams, he wouldn't have thought that he'd be up 17-6 after 12 ends. Definitely not. He's just got to keep plugging away. It's going to be handy. The ball has run away more than it looked like it was going to. Green very fast down in this direction. This is that's a, a more, that's a much better bowl from Ryan Bester. This is where the experience of Leif Selby will come in handy as well, not to be distracted by any problems your opponent may be having, and just keeping his mind focused on what he has to do to get another four shots. He's just going to keep chipping away. Stop. Whoa. Well, he's telling it to stop, and is it going to? Well, not quite, I don't think. No, I don't think it has. Bester. Can he make it two? He's not far away. I think he might just pull up. Well, we might see Leif Selby might be forced to change hands now. Ryan Bester's last bowl, it's a, <coughs> probably about a metre short. It's probably in the, in the way. He may go to the backhand. Try and draw the shot here. We'll wait and see. And that's it. He's on the backhand. Well, he's watching it. He wants a bit of jack, but I think he's going to go under. A touch on the jack would be enough. He's just going to miss it. Not by much. Handy lead, though, for Leif Selby. Should be cut here. And how determined he is to get close to the jack here. There is a potential to maybe roll it onto. Very close here. It's a terrific bowl, isn't it? Well, that's about as good as it gets from the Canadian. Yeah. And shows what he is capable of. Two shots to Ryan, Ryan Bester, Bester and the lead is back under shots. double figures. Welcome back to Lockley's Bowling Club. We're now about to commence the 14th end here at the World Championships. Where I'd like to be. I'll be back in the Aussies at 17 to 8 up. You've seen some strange things in some of these games. They can change so quickly, especially with Ryan Bester. He's either hot or cold. Oh. Terrific opening bowl here. Leif Selby. This will be one to the Aussies. And this is a good reply also. My best are trying hard here. If it falls over, it'll be the shot. I favour that. Be the closest bowl so far on this end. Good life, say woo. Oh, he's looking really, really good here. And look at this for a great bowl by Leif Selby from Australia, a front toucher. Well, 
behind Bester. What's he going to do? He likes the target. The odds are he'll have a go at this for sure, and that's exactly what he's doing. Well, he's not far away. He just missed. Oh, so close. Millimetres away from clipping it off. Well, anything behind here would be a good bowl. Ryan Bester, the Canadian, has the best two back bowls, and this is going to take all that pain away. It'll be Australia with the best back bowl. And Ryan Bester, his best chances are to clip that bowl off. I dare say he's going to have another, another crack at this. I'm going to try and clip the Aussie bowl off the green, which would leave one to the Canadian. Well, he's changed his weight. Looks like he's just he trying to trail. surprised everyone. Well, we're not sure what he's up to. He's well, just he trying can. to trail the jack, maybe. If he can, he'll pick up three. Well, he's close to this. Brilliant bowl, Ryan Bester. Here we thought he was going to line up for a drive, and all of a sudden he switches his mind and plays a fantastic trail shot. Oh, why doesn't he do that more often? Got me confused. Play shots like that and make three. On replay, have a look at this. Terrific trail shot. Missing Leif Selby's front bowl. Trail the jack, makes three. Leif has the chance here to maybe trail the jack and get to himself. Well, it's Leif gets... Selby driving. He's trying to remove the, the three shot bowls. Oh! Well, he's got two of them out. So yes. that's a good result for the Aussies. He saves himself two shots, and he was very close to picking up three himself. It is one to the Canadian. Oh, he edges back 17-9 after 14 ends. On the aggression. Leif Selby after the three shot bowls of Ryan Bester, but misses and gets two. so close that would have been a huge moment in this final he would have picked up two maybe three and 17 nine the score now it could easily have been 28 and then you would have said well there is no way that Bester could come back from that to win every end between now and the end of the match would be asking too much against a player of this class it's hard enough as it is now well, we've seen the fight back from Ryan Bester in the semi-final. Wasn't this far behind, though. 17-9. These games can change. Just take some, a player to pick up his game, gain some momentum and put three or four good ends together. And that's exactly what Ryan Best has got to try and do. If he, he needs to put a few ends together. He's going to be any contention in this match. It's pretty handy. Stay up. Stay up. Well, it just depends what happens here. Just kept going. <laughs> Ryan Bester is holding the shot. Want to make it two. Just got to stop. A bit of contact here, I think. Leif just caught his own front bowl. Just forced him to run along a bit further. Go 
Well, it looks like it's pretty narrow to me. Well, it's crossed the line well up the green. It's a poor bowl. And there is plenty of room here for Leif Selby to draw a shot. I like that one the best. I like that one the best. <laughs> Definitely one to Canada. Measure for the second. As the wind gusts up again. The wind might have got this. He's urging it on, but the bowl's turning hard. Well, a missed opportunity there for Leif Selby. It will be one to the Canadian at least. So only one shot there for Canada, but he is into double figures. 17-10 after 15 ends. Still in the box seat. Here's the Australian, but it's three consecutive ends for the Canadian. Leif Selby has a good lead here, 17 to 10. Ryan Bester, can he get his way back into this match? Put some pressure on the Australian player. That's what he's going to be trying to do. He's going to have to lift his game, though. I mean, Leif's only won one more end than Ryan Bester in this match. It's 8 7 in terms of ends, one. And there's a good start from Leif Selby. It's just that he concedes big numbers when he just seems to lose a bit of focus. It's almost like he wants a challenge. Yes. If you drop ones, it's not too bad. But when you drop multiples, a two or a well, three... The f he's dropped the four, two threes and two twos. Yes, and that just makes it inconsistent. And that's going to cost you. Can't afford to be... Dropping shots or giving shots away like that. Yeah, and you're going to make it very tough for yourself. You're not going to lose the game by just going one down at a time. Good weighted bowl there from Ryan Bester, but he's a good metre narrow. And you see the Australian coach, Steve Glasson, and Robbie Dobbins, the assistant coach of the Australian team. Run. Leif urging his bowl on. Might have to give it a kick, because that definitely doesn't look like it's going to get there. He does hold shot. But if this bowl can be cleared in front of the jack by Bester, he's got the next best three. Well, he has. He's got three seconds here, Ryan Bester. Here he goes. He's looking for the shot bowl. Edge. And he's he got gets it. it as well. He's gone from one down to three up. But there is some space here for Leif Selby. Well, that's a good shot of Ryan Bester. Leif Selby, just the one bowl. In the head, and he's cleaned it out clean as a whistle. It's better, easier than drawing. Now you hear it. It's easier than drawing, he reckons. Well, I'm not sure about that, but that was a fantastic bowl. Huge moment here for the Australian. Well, this is big. This is what we're talking about, multiples. You can keep your opponent down to one or two. Leif Selby, three down. Can he draw the shot? It's got to get past that bowl. He doesn't quite do it, but he turns three into one and a measure. And we certainly saved at least one. We won to Canada for sure. And that's all it'll be. So he's won four in a, ends in a row here, Ryan Bester. 
And after trailing 17-6, he's back to 17-11. Played 16 ends. It's first to 21 shots. And he has been becalmed on 17. Now the Aussie since the 12th end. Join the Aero Revolution. Experience the difference for yourself. Long end here. Brian Bester. You see at the 2007 Gold Atlantic Rim Championship winner of the, the men's singles. Similar to the Asia Pacific Games, which Australia participates in. It's played in the Northern Hemisphere. Takes into account all the, the UK Jersey and Guernsey, Spain, Portugal, countries like that. Loose start there from the Canadian into the ditch. Hurry. Now, Lee Selby dropping off about a metre short. As we're saying, player can get a bit of momentum and Ryan Bester has won the last four ends. So if you could put another end or two together here, it would make it very interesting. And there's shot. You sometimes wonder, some of those loose wayward running shots give Leif Selby a great lead early in this match. Wanting at the stop, Leif Selby. We won to Canada. Whether it's going to come back from out there, it's trying hard. It's going to hang out. Late Selby, he'd, he'd dearly like to get off this 17. Hurry! He's just got to get there. Has he got the running? I don't think he has. He's urging it on. He's going to be short, though. The frustration there. An Australian player. <laughs> Last bowl coming up here. Ryan Bester. He's only got two in play. His first bowl was long into the ditch. So Leif Selby will get final crack. Just lost it a little bit the last couple of ends. Leif, Canadian has pounced. He likes this. I don't think he's going to get there. Well, he's trying. Is it enough? Big bowl here, isn't it? Nice Selby. He's trying to get off 17. Oh. Well, he's watching it closely. What's he going to do? Trail the jack, does he? No, he's only just missed it, though. Weave through that hole. It's another end of the Canadian, though. One to Canada, one to Ryan Bester, and it is 17-12 after 17 ends. Lake Selby, 17. So five ends in a row as we head downstairs to Andrew Holmes. Well, uh, Leif's just a bit anchored at the moment, isn't he? Ryan's really making the scoreboard take over. Well, you know, it's uh, it's typical of a champion. This is what he expect from a, from a world champion, which Ryan is. And and it's uh, as I said before, it'll go down to the wire. It, uh, you know, just a, it's a matter of now who can hold their nerve and sort of get the right shot at the right time. It's been such a long championship and you've been with Leif all the way through. 13 matches, this is his 13th match to win a gold medal. What are you noticing today about his demeanour in this final gold medal playoff? Well, I think he's been there that many times before, you know, at, at this sort of level. That, you know, it, for him, it's, it's just another game. I, you know, I think he, he wants it badly. You know, I think he deserves it. He's, you know, it's... Uh, 
we've got sort of 10 players in the Australian team. Nine of them's got the gold medal so far and, and Lacey's the only one that hasn't got a gold medal. So for his sake, you know, I, I would like to see him win it. But, uh, you know, as long as it's a good game, mate, that's uh, Bowles is a winner. We've said on numerous occasions before, Robbie, that sometimes these last two or three or four shots to get can be the hardest to find. They're always the hardest. They're always the hardest to get, yeah, yeah. Hopefully mate. we'll get it this time, mate. All the best. Thank you very much. Maximum length here from the Canadian. This is a good one. Very good one. Well, just these last four or five ends, Ryan Best is just starting to pick up his game. He's he's gone up a gear. He started in fourth gear. He's definitely gone up to a gear or two. He's going to have to get up the top gear if he's going to get right back in this match. I reckon he started in reverse. <laughs> well, he's digging away here. He only trails by five now. 17, 12 down. He's holding on this particular end. He's got one. I don't know whether that's in the count. some weight on this and he's pushed it out there as well you can't see this bowl getting back it's a wide line my tide has certainly turned Leif Selby is now in a position where he needs to do something to stop the bleeding here. Yes, he's got a bit of momentum here, Ryan Bester. He's going to be trying to make another one here. It's all on his weight. I don't think he's going to make it, though. Still coming. It's going to be short. There's definitely one to Canada. It's a blocker there, though, isn't it? Really, if... Leif was looking to maybe knock that shot bowl out from in front of the jack. That option's been taken away. It certainly has. I think Leif Selby's just got to try and draw the shot here. He's got about 10 inches or so. He might to get off 17. Players don't like to get stuck on a number. This is his last crack at it. Hurry. Hurry. Not sure that it will come back from there. Hurry. Well, He's hoping it does. It's hurry. got to go now. It is edging, and that is a magnificent shot from Leif Selby. What a way to get off 17 after five consecutive ends. Selby picks up a shot and extends the lead to six. And it came back from an area that we haven't seen too many come back from. No, terrific draw, draw shot there from the Australian. Leif Selby urging it on. And as I was saying, he's got off that number 17. I'm sure he'd be very relieved. Now leads 18 to 12 in his men's singles final. And he's shortened it up a bit. This end. And a change of length as well. He's thrown a little bit of 24 metre length. And he's got fairly close as well with his opening bowl. Ryan Bester took a lot narrower line. And the end result's going to be he's going to cross the line and run away. It's really been a final of momentum, hasn't it? Leif had the momentum early with three of the first four, then another couple to the Canadian to give him a little bit of a sniff, then Leif won four, then the Canadian won five. Can Leif string a couple here together? Because if he does... 
He'll be world champion. Yes, and what a feeling that would be. Each member of the Australian team would have won a gold medal. The world Championships would be the first time in the history that that's ever happened. Leif Selby on the mat. Can he make it number two? He only needs three to win. Get up there. <laughs> Ryan Vesta. Playing a bit of weight, but he's going to run away here under the head, a bit narrow. This is only the uh, second world championship that men and women competed at the same event. Prior to that, they held theirs separately. So five gold. Men and women, if it is successful, if we can get to that stage to be able to say that, Ryan Bester will be hoping that's not the case. It'll be the greatest tally of gold since the world titles began way back in 1966. sure that this is going to come back for life. It's trying hard. Let's give him a couple behind. You reckon Ryan might have a crack here? I certainly think Ryan Bester. Last time, last time we thought that, he surprised us all. Well, he could surprise us again. Full of surprises, Ryan Bester. I thought he might have had a go, but he, he's, he looks like he's gone for a draw shot or playing a bit of weight. And he's going to be too wide. Oh, that's a strange shot selection. So back to back ends. The Lake Selby it's just when he needed it. And Selby the edge is close up. It is 19, 19 to 12, Bester, 12, and we have had 19 ends. As the wine capital of Australia, you don't have to travel far to enjoy a terrific drop. Visit one of South Australia's 16 wine regions. The wineries are just a short drive from the city centre. It's quite extraordinary. Discover South Australia's food icons. You can visit Maggie Beer's farm shop. That is outstanding. There's handcrafted cheeses and premium chocolates. Don't leave South Australia without exploring a magnificently vibrant food scene. You will not regret it. This is the start of the 20th end. It's like Selby edging closer to this world title win. Only needs two now to win. 19 to 12. 21 shots up. Win the winner. So the Australians are on the verge of the greatest performance by a nation at a world championship. New Zealand, England and South Africa have all won four gold. Australia's already done that. Can they become the first to win five? Leif Selby is two shots away. And he's a bit long and a bit short in these first two. Yes, and what a performance it would be by the Australian team. Been very dominant. We've also got a couple of silver medals. The men's pairs going down to Scotland. A great game, and also the Scotland men's triples team defeating Hurry. the Australian triples team. Hurry! By one shot. And what was a classic game. And Leif Selby urging it on. Terrific ball from Leif Selby. Even though it fell out, it's still shot. Here's Wade. Well, here we go. Whoa, he's, he's got, got it. it. Well, terrific hit. What's it done? 
Is it out? I think it's dead. I think it is dead. He's given it. A, he's given a big hit. And he has killed the Canadian. The 20th end will be replayed. And look at this for contact. Jack goes flying backwards and goes out of bounds. That's just the result that he wanted. Almost stayed in. National and international events, particularly on the sporting arena. Event South Australia with the South Australian government, proud major partners of the 2012 World Championships. So in number 20 to be replayed here after Ryan Bester the second time in the match was successful in killing an end. I'm sure that that was his intention. No. Certainly better than one down though. Gets the option to replay the end. Would have scored if the Jack did stay in bounds but wasn't to beat. Best up. Can't afford to give Lane Selby any more shots. Have to be a special comeback from here. It was just that start that gave away early. 9 1, he was down after four ends. Here's a great bowl Stop. from Lane Selby. Stop. Stop. Wait again to knock it straight out. Did that go between the Jack and the Aussie Bowl? Got to believe what you can see. Did it? It did, absolutely. It went between the Jack and the Shot Bowl. I can't believe that. It went that through it, that quick. I can't believe it could possibly fit through there. No, it went through there at 50 mile an hour, I'm sure of it. Well, is he going to have another go? I'm sure he will. <coughs> Do it again. Drive number two. Well, he's wide, I think. He's the other side this time. Well, he certainly lets fly. Leif Selby. He can make it two here. He could be the world champion for 2012. It's not coming back. He's got the wide line. Still, no, he's not going to get back. Well... If he's not careful here, the Canadian, he could knock his bowl completely out of the way and Leif will win. And he he's gets the bowl of the Australian and he picks up the shot. Oh, that was a brave shot from Ryan Bester. He would have peeled his own bowl out. He could have lost the match. And yet he's peeled out the shot bowl of Leif Selby. Well, Three consecutive drives. How did clean as a whistle? I can't believe how the first one missed. And then 19-13. It is still the Aussie in a commanding position. This Canadian is capable of anything. Yes. Very hard to estimate what shot he's going to play. You think he's going to draw? He drives and. When he drives, he draws. He's gone back to the long end, which was played by Leif early to try and counter that drive. Yes, yeah, in a, a loose opening bowl. Bowl just staying on, on the rink. A matter of inches off the plinth of the ditch. Leif Selby needs two shots. We come back a winner. long way. He looks a bit fast as well. Oh. Ryan Bester needs to take off about a metre and a half of weight. Looks like he's corrected pretty well here. Still going to be a couple of feet short. It is the closest.
He's put this one out there. He's just got to let the bowl do the work now. Is it going to keep coming back? On turn. Dave Selby can't believe it. Just <clears throat> didn't turn. Ryan Bester. Big opportunity, and he's pushed that bowl well back. The shot bowl has got to be close to a metre short. Well, he looks too wide again here, Leif Selby. Well, the wind's pushing it that way as well. And here at Gusting. Where's all the turn going? You can't believe it. The bowl just has not come back at all. Frustrating now. It's getting frustrating now. Especially those two there, they're, they're three foot wide. Just it wouldn't turn. Oh, it's so important this game, you've got to believe what you see. I certainly feel that Leif was too wide once he let it go anyway. A little puff of breeze has pushed it out, so it's two shots to Canada. Well, he's going for the two bowls, I believe. Leif Selby, can you get the two bowls out? He's no. got one, and one only. It will be one to Canada. That came out of nowhere, that one. It is one to Ryan Bester. And it is now 14 to the Canadian, 19 to the Aussie, a five-shot lead. After 21 ends, it is the first to 21 shots. Australia is so close to its fifth gold medal. But the Canadian is fighting hard to get his country its first. And once again, Ryan Bester going for a, a maximum length, ditch to ditch. But this is his challenge. He's going to throw it right out there. Tell you what, it's a pretty handy start here too by the Canadian. A very handy start, in fact. When he has momentum, he's like a runaway train. Wow. But he can also be a train wreck at the same time. Yes. <laughs> Under mess. You just can't believe some of his shot selections. Leif Selby. He's not far away either. It's trying to come back. Well, almost, but it's still going to be one to the Canadian. Bowl finishing just past Jack High. Well, it's a handy position bowl. I don't think it will with that line there. It'll come back a little bit. It just tends to hold when he goes over those patches halfway down the green. There's one to Canada. Almost got back to the centre line, that last ball. Best up. Good, good weight here. It's just gone under. Wonder Canada. Leif Selby. He's got about eight inches to draw Hurry. for the shot. Run. Hurry. He's got to keep Hurry. running though. He's pushing it. It's not going to get there though. Well, it could be third shot. Which would mean. Could have two seconds, Leif Selby, but Ryan Bester's got one bowl to play on this end. He needs to give it a friend because I'm sure if he doesn't, Leif Selby will look to remove that shot bowl of Ryan Bester's. 
And if successful, he could be world champion. Here comes the bowl of the Canadian. It's not a bad track. He's very close, in fact. Ryan Bester. That'll be two shots, nearly. I'm not sure. It's another bowl in the head. Two, mate, is it? Yeah. Wait for the call. And there it is. Two shots to Canada's Ryan Bester. They gave the drive here. Well, this game's not over yet. I think he's got to have a go. He's He's got the two third shots. So if he was to remove those two bowls of Ryan Bester's without moving the jack, he'd be a winner. Well, here we go. Can he get both bowls? No! It's online. It's online. It's online. Oh, oh, that's unlucky. It's one. How did he take one out and not the other? Can you believe that? It is a shot for the Canadian. He does save one. Life Selby, but it looked to be the perfect shot. Bester wins his third consecutive end and narrows the lead to four. Well, so close. Almost getting the perfect result, Leif Selby. Can't believe it. Looks to the sky. That was bizarre, that. Is that a massive moment in this final? Well, it's 19-15. This game's not over yet. In fact, it's getting quite exciting. Well, Leif's only won two of the last ten ends. It's exactly what happened in the semi-final with Ryan Bester's game against Jerry Baker from South Africa. He comes storming home in that match. And it happened again. Looks, it looks a little quick. Back to years. He's going to run through a couple of metres. <coughs> well, Ryan Bester. Old he one. He trailed 17 8. Or 17 6, I should say, after 12 ends. Back to 19 15. Well, on a cracking shot here also. Look at that. Side knocker. And touch up. And all of a sudden, Ryan Best has found it. But such a good draw shot on him. Sometimes wonder why he doesn't draw more often. Well, that's not going to be close enough. Well, it's two shots to the Canadian. He's been forced to change to his forehand. He won't mind if he goes back a little bit here because Leif Selby's got the best back bowl. Oh, is Leif Selby drawing? Or is he going to play some weight? No, he's opted to just draw. He's got to hold. He wants it to hold. Looks okay. I think he's going to run away, though. Just Died, turning. at the wind. That starts to come back in, and that breeze just dies very quickly. There's the wind swirling around. The white cockatoos in the background. They're coming in for dinner. Ryan Bester's last bowl of this end. He holds two. He could get to within two, maybe even to get within one, if he can put this one close. He's got an opportunity. I don't think he's got the... going to run it. Well, Leif Selby. I think he's got to play a bit of a running shot here. If he could get the jack in the ditch down near the back number, he could possibly get two shots, and that's all he's after. Two shots and he become world champion. 
I think he's got to go for this. Run the risk. He's two down now. If he could get the jack in the ditch. Leif Selby. Needs two to win. He's driving, he's narrow. He's missed it. And it is two to the Canadian. And all of a sudden, Ryan Bester is within sight of the finish line. Good result for Ryan Bester. 19 17, 23 ends gone. Let's head down to Andrew Holmes. Thanks, Mark. I've got Dave Mayfield again. And, uh, your young fellow won't go away. No, no, no. We're here for the duration. We're going to finish this. What about this, uh, this a remarkable comeback? He's, he's just got so much momentum now and obviously self-belief that he can win it. Of course he can. He's found a weight now and he's, he's, he's playing great stuff. At the last 12 ends, we've we'll, we'll won 10, you know. And we just got to keep going, pressing ahead, and we'll get the gold. Certainly shaping as a uh, worthy World Championship final, isn't it? It is. I told you it was going to be a match, and it's a match. All the best for the rest of the game. Cheers, mate. And nine of the last 11 won by the Canadian... And once again, Brian Bester, he's starting to pick his game up here. He's in top gear right now. He's gone these long ends. And all of a sudden, this game has changed. And Selby just crossing the line. Now, Ryan Bester only trails by two shots in another terrific comeback, very similar to his semi final win against Jerry Baker from South Africa. And once again, Ryan Bester is going to make this a counter as well. So he's certainly coming home strong. Has the momentum of this game swung around? He needs something special, Leif, to stop that momentum and to get himself back. Well, Ryan Bester, he's holding a good two. If he was to draw another one here, Leif Selby, he's going to have to come up with something special. Because he could find himself three down. And Ryan Bester, well, he only needs four to win this match. Wave Selby. What can he do? Needs to respond. Well, his weight's a lot better. Can he draw the shot here? What a terrific effort. But it's going to be second shot at least. Ryan Bester. If he could trail a jack, good 18 inches, he can make a four here. Really has turned it on. Oh, it's on its way. I think he's too narrow. Well, he was chasing that jack. There's no doubt. So what are Leif's options here? It's got very interesting this game. Well, he hasn't got too many options at all, really. It's, it's got to be a bit careful. Is there any way he can get shot here? He's going to speak to probably Dobbins here. Well, he can certainly get the shot. I mean, it's going to be very difficult to make two. I mean, he could play an absolute perfect bowl and maybe turn the shot bowl over and stay there himself, but he'd have to have perfect weight well he's driving he's going for this now what's going to happen well he's gone from one down to two down well Leif Selby he was only one down he's going to drop a two and can you believe this out of nowhere we're all square after 24 ends in this men's final he trailed 17-6 after the 12th end, Ryan Bester. It is now 19-all. Can you believe it? 19-all.
from 17-6 down, Ryan Bester of Canada. And the momentum has swung. Quite unbelievable. I, was, I wasn't expecting that from Life. that shot. No. I'm not sure whether it was the right shot, but he went for it. And now we're all locked up. Both players needing two shots to become world champion. He's won the last five and 10 of the last 12, the Canadian. Well, how important are these opening bowls? Ryan Bester, he's going backhand round the clock as well. And that's exactly what he did do in the Australia-South African game. Leif Selby, he's staying on the same side. He's been playing all match. Some speed on this if it is to take the jack, though. It's going to run away. Needs to find something from somewhere, the Australian, because the Canadian at the moment is unstoppable. Well, the good thing about it, it's only one. One to Canada. He's picked up two shots the last two ends. If he does that again, Leif's dropped the head as soon as he let that go. Well, it's not wide enough. That's why he's dropped his head. This is going to run away also. And as you can see, it's turning now. And these long ends have really thrown Leif Selby. To Ryan Bester. It's hard to believe this is the same bowler that trailed 17-6. That hasn't done too much at all. It's just kept on going straight. But there's an, it's only really one bowl close. Hey, Selby. Can he draw the shot here for Australia? He's, he's a lot wider this time. It's all on his weight now. It's trying. If it falls over, it's got to be close. That's a measure. You'd think maybe the one jack high. Well, I'm not too sure. I'll have to wait for the marker. Purple one looks a little bit closer on that angle, but it's hard to tell. He favours Canada, the marker. So it is one to Ryan Bester's bowl. Locked here at 19 all. Ryan Bester, last bowl on this end. Can he make it two? <laughs> he looks quick to me. He's going to run through. <laughs> it stays in, though. But there is room here. A life, Selby. I hear the Aussie chant in the background. That would be enough for me to leave. And life, Selby's got. Uh, he's got a couple of options. He's got two seconds if he was to remove the shot bowl on screen. The purple bowl would leave Australia with two. Or he could trail the jack for a couple himself. This could be for the World Championship. He's going for the shot ball. Is it online? Oh, it's looking it's close. good. He's got yeah. it, knocked his own. And is that the World Championship or will it be a measure? Ryan Bester looks at it, takes his hat off and concedes the world title yeah. to Leif Selby, who staggered over the line in one of the most remarkable men's finals you will ever see. 21-19. The final bowl was the bowl of his life. And one of the more remarkable finishes you will see to any sporting contest. Australia's Leif Selby has won the men's singles final at the World's Bowl Championship, but not without a gallant fight back uh, from this man next to me. What a performance. Yeah, I, I just couldn't pick it up early. And at the end, going long, I got on Leif, but he played brilliant early on. And, you know, last four years, he's probably one of the best singles players in the world. And so he deserves to win the world title.
Mate, many a player would have given up. 17-6 down, you were out of the match, you looked down yourself. How did you pick yourself up? Well, that's why the best is a singles game is to 21 up or 25 up because you're never out of it. So that's why it's the best. And uh, all I do is keep winning ends and you know try to fight back to 21. Well, what a match it was from both bowlers. Leif Selby, you led 17-6 and then 10 of the next 12 ends were won by your opponent. Did you think you were gone? Oh, you always got to try and stay positive. But uh, Ryan really lifted his game, didn't he? Uh, World-class player. He's won it before. Uh, just showed everybody why. Um, like he said, it's a first of 21. You're never out of it. It's a pretty good format. The players prefer this one a lot better, but um, world-class play, Ryan. And uh, look, I'm really relieved to get over the line. What does it mean to you? I've got the three now. That's, that was my goal coming out here. Um, the champion champions and the, the World Cup are now this one. Um, that was my my main goal, really, coming back into the squad because I, I did finish up after the, uh, after the Commonwealth Games. Um, look, I've got the three and I'm absolutely thrilled. Yeah. You said in the interview before the match, potentially your last game. Is that your last game and was that your last shot? And is that the crowning glory? <laughs> uh, look, Steve actually got wind of that and come over and had a word to me. So um, at this stage, I'm not going to say any more, but look, I, you, you know, I'm quite happy with the win at the moment, yeah. So you should be. It's been a terrific match, a terrific final and an outstanding world championship. Australia finished with five gold medals. Leif Selby is the men's singles champion. It's been a marvellous two and a bit weeks here in Adelaide. On behalf of all the Fox Sports crew, my co-commentators Kelvin Kirko and Julie Keegan, I'm Mark Brabrook. And for the final time, we say goodbye from Adelaide. <laughs>